Okay. All right. So thanks for watching these videos for coaching youth tennis, especially uh, for our Gross Point Tennis League. Um, so we're running stations on our league, and this is going to be for the forehand and backhand station. A couple of things we want to talk about. Um, for little kids, we want we want to shoot for an 80% success rate. So. We don't want to give them something that they can do even half the time. We want to get them to do something they can do 80% of the time. Um, as they get bigger, we can challenge them more and give them things that are more challenging to them. Okay. Um, also, hopefully my YouTube skills will be good enough that I can put a link to the documents, uh, some of the documentation of these drills in the uh, description. So you should find a link down there somewhere. All right, so we've got, Kev we've got Kevin and Verona, and we're going to show you some of the drills. Okay, so this is for either forehand or backhand. It's going to be the same. If the forehand the ball comes to your dominant side, backhand the ball comes to your non-dominant side. Um, you can say it's a forehand because you can see my four fingers. Okay, so that's how I know it's a forehand. A backhand, you can see the back of my hand. So that's how they can help remember it. All right, so I'm going to start Kevin and Verona with, you guys can put your rackets down. Put your rackets out of the way, somewhere where you're not going to trip on them. Nice first student who had wiped out after falling on a racket. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have you guys just play catch with some snakes. And I'm gonna try to roll my ball right over Kevin's dot, and he's just gonna catch it and roll it back to me. He's gonna try to roll it right over my dot. Okay, so these are snakes because snakes crawl on the ground. Awesome. Alright, look at that, right over the middle of the dot. <laughs> So every practice we want to have sending and receiving drills, right? They're learning to send the ball to their partner and, and receive the ball. Okay, so that's snakes. Oh, five holes. <laughs> okay, so after snakes we're going to do bunnies because bunnies do two or three hops. So hop, 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 catch. Okay, you're in Verona. Bunnies, hop, hop. And, and you can have them say hop, hop, catch because it really helps with their time. Go for it. Hop, 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 catch. Hop, 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 hop. Good job. Good job. It's actually surprisingly hard to get all the hops and the catches right. Hop, hop, catch. Hop, hop, catch. Yeah, good yeah. job. That is not going to make it. And if it's short, <laughs> you got to run up to it. you got to use your feet. Okay, after bunnies come birds because birds make one hop. Okay, can you guys do some birds? Ready? Awesome. Nice catch. Nice speed too. Nice. Oh, stay with it. Okay, so that's snakes, bunnies, and birds. So now we've got kind of a language we can describe the shots with. Um, the snakes and bunnies, obviously that's for like the five and six year olds. You can rotate through that really quickly for the bigger kids, the seven and eight year olds. For the nine to 12, you can even just skip that. But now we've got snakes, bunnies, and birds. And the next thing we're gonna do in our forehand progression is a self rally. So my four fingers are pointing up because it's a forehand. I'm gonna toss it, tap it, and catch it. Okay, just try to get them to do that first. Toss, tap, catch. And once they're pretty good at that, you can have them try to rally. Okay, so that's our self rally. Um, oh, that one. Yeah, okay. Um, sure. So Kevin, Kevin's showing the trapping the ball. That's a really good one, too. Because um, then they learn kind of distance. They learn the middle of the racket. So you can definitely have them trap it. That, that's a great one, too. I also did, uh, I don't know, bungee, what do you do? Uh-huh, oh, okay. Yeah, so there's lots of games you can play. Bungee drop. Okay, good racket handling skills. And then after that, let's give the ball to Verona. And Verona, you can put your racket out of the way where you're not going to uh, trip on it. And let's start out, Verona's going to give uh, Kevin a snake and Kevin's going to trap it as close to his dot as he can and then just tap it back to Verona. And Kevin's going to move his feet, trap it.
wrap it and then roll it back. Kevin's going to aim for Verona's dot, right on the dot. Nice. And then I would do seven of those and then they would, and they would switch. Nice good work, Kevin. Okay, so do seven snakes and then Kevin can roll some snakes to Verona. Okay. Ready, Verona? You want to try? Sure. All right. You want to grab the racket? And then after that, we would have them do bunnies. So just give her a bunny, and she Ready? can just tap it back. God. <laughs> Can I borrow your partner? Okay, so for a bunny, um, so I'm just going to block it back. Tell them they're not, they don't have to take a swing. It's more like a bunt in baseball. So we would do seven, and then... Kevin would get his racket, I would combine off the way, I would get him seven bunnies. Ooh, good try, bro. I got another <laughs> ball, it's okay. And everyone counts, even if you miss, that counts as one of the seven. Excellent job. Okay. And then we would do the same thing with birds. Seven birds, then switch, Ready? seven birds. Only one bounce this time. Ooh, <laughs> It's going to take you out. Again, I you don't need a big swing. He's so close. You just need to tap it. Ooh. Okay. Right. Way, that, yeah, way too much. And also, we want to open racket for this. Tell them they want to open racket face so we can tap it up. Okay, so this swing is a little more up than horizontal. Do you remember that, Verona? Nice and easy. Okay, so we've got that snakes, bunnies, and birds catch. Snakes, bunnies, and birds, um, you know, partner tossing. And then after that, you can have them rally over a line. So I'm going to move these dots a little closer. <laughs> and Step this back. is going to be just a lot like the uh, self rally where they were tapping it up. But they're just going to rally. Verona's going to try to bounce it on Kevin's dot. Kevin is going to try to bounce it on Verona's dot. You guys can match up your forehands. Uh, line up. Yep. Hope nope. the other way. So this is a forehand. Good. Okay. Back up. Couple. Back up. Bang. There we go. Now. Okay, you ready? Okay, now we need really open racket faces for this. Oh, let's try that again. Okay, let it bounce. I'm going to try and get it to land right here. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty advanced for the younger kids. Here, I'll, I'll show you. Come over here, Verona. Okay, so we're going to match up our rackets. And really open racket face, shooting for a little overhead high. These taps should go a little overhead high. We were moving our feet every time. Never going to hit a shot in tennis without adjusting with your feet. Okay, so that's rally over a line, and then from there you could progress to rallying over a net. So, and for backhands, it's just the same thing, but the ball is going to come to your non dominant side. And you usually show them a two handed backhand, especially for little kids. So all these exact same drills, just put this ball comes to your non-dominant side. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. So you can progress through those really fast if your kids are getting it really well, or you can take time on the slower ones, you know, if it's challenging for them. Um, okay, that's it.